I want to actually thank uh, the organizing committee and its partners for having me as a speaker. Uh, the use of digital tools in advocacy and mobilization is really close to my heart. So it's an honor to be here and to share my experience. Uh, my name is Dipuna Banpola, and about four years ago, I started a nonprofit organization called iVolunt International, uh, dedicated to advocacy through volunteerism. Uh, iVolunt International is a tech nonprofit, which means that we primarily leverage technology to expand and strengthen uh, the impact we have in the world. And since the beginning, even way before COVID-19, we have operated completely virtually uh, with the staff and volunteers from around the world, uh, connecting through digital tools to carry out our mission. Uh, our mission is to create a culture of global contribution through volunteerism using digital tools. Uh, we don't just believe in it. We absolutely and certainly know with data that when people mobilize in their communities and online to volunteer, to give back, to advocate, we create a more unified, sustainable, progressive, and, and safer world. Uh, in the last four years, we have connected over 6,000 people to volunteer projects uh, in their local communities and introduced volunteerism and different causes to over 100,000 people through a variety of advocacy projects. Uh, two years ago, we launched a program called the Writers' Council, which uh, brings together young activists and leaders from around the world to write about local issues. They spotlight a variety of causes like human rights, youth leadership, SDGs, and volunteer stories in their local communities. Uh, and they also provide a voice to the voiceless by exposing injustice and corruption. Uh, during the pandemic, we also mobilized to develop a, so a platform called Grocery Aid, which is an online platform that connects volunteers with people who needed grocery delivery support using their zip code uh, locations. One of the most exciting projects uh, is also called Birthday Deed, which is a virtual pledge campaign. So it's completely online. We have hundreds of people from around the world who have taken the pledge to do something good on their birthday. Uh, simple and small acts like planting a tree and donating your lightly worn clothes, uh, volunteering an hour on your birthday can make a big difference. So this is kind of like the sort of the impact uh, that we have been able to create through uh, digital tools. But I want to also take a minute and kind of talk about the digital tools that we've been using. So we really need to not tokenize digital tools and the use of social media. Uh, COVID-19 brought a lot of challenges in our world, but it also made us realize a lot of things. COVID-19 forced organizations to take their programs online and make most of them free, which enabled us, young people, to engage in advocacy from any part of the world and I want to be really honest, before COVID-19, not all of us would have had the opportunity to attend youth conferences and engagement sessions like this because we couldn't afford plane tickets, or accommodation, or get visas on time from the host country. These challenges made these events very highly selective. Uh, we had to learn about what's going on, the topics discussed, and how we can contribute uh, after the event through social media or newsletters. Uh, Digital tools also provide you and I to be strong and progressive advocates. Uh, we have access to news around the world and have the opportunity to directly affect the trajectory of this world. We can elevate lives, promote human rights, wage peace, and also wage war, contribute to divisions, spew hate, and depreciate our mental health behind our keyboards, all from digital tools. While we enjoy the unlimited boundaries digital tools have created, we also need to be mindful that these privileges are not always afforded to everyone in the world. So think about the people in your own community, in your backyard, who don't have access to digital tools or internet. Are their voices heard? When we promote an agenda, do they know about it? How can we use digital tools and ease of access to make sure that people who are not digitally savvy are also heard, represented, and supported? Um, I know we need to always fight. We need to fight for our rights. Without the fight young people have consistently waged against the status quo, we wouldn't have been able to achieve anything. But we lose the fight when we alienate subsections of our own society through our advocacy. So we need to build digital tools that can bring everybody into the discussion. In closing, I want to leave you all you know, with a question to think about and to get into the discussion. So my question is, what is your excuse? The mere fact that you're watching this speech means you're tremendously privileged and have access to digital tools. So after this session, take time to think about how you can give back using digital tools. Can you sign up for projects like Birthday Deed and pledge to do something good on your birthday? 
What is the role you want to play in advocacy? Can you tackle misinformation and promote fact-based information? What is the impact you can create in your own way, big or small? And can you fight for those without a voice, for minorities, and transform the status quo using digital tools? I'm really proud of the work we're doing every day, from raising awareness on Instagram to holding our elected leaders accountable. Uh, our advocacy is saving actual real human lives, and we have a tremendous responsibility to keep at it. And I look forward to the discussion today. Thank you.